happy April. So we're a quarter of the way through the year and ready for Q2 of TBR Spin. Hi, my name is Sarah Freshly and welcome back to Freshly Read Books. If you don't know what TBR Spin is, it's a monthly TBR game that Jill from The Book Bully and I do, where at the beginning of the year, you pick 12 books, or you can start whenever you want and just make sure that you're picking the number of books for months that are left in the year. So if you wanna start right now, So there's nine left. So I have my nine right here. And every month we spin a wheel of prompts that leads us to one of the books on our stack. Or if you don't happen to have a book on your stack that matches that prompt, then you can pull from your larger TBR and remove one of the books from your actual stack. There's also some swap prompts, but not very many. So it's pretty rare that that comes up. Although last month it did, which is very exciting. Speaking of last month and actually the month before, I'm gonna quickly go through the books that have been a part of my TBR spin that I haven't talked about yet, but very briefly. So the prompt for February was to read the lowest rated book on your TBR stack. So mine happened to be City of Orange by David Yoon, which uh, rightfully so, because I ended up DNFing it. Uh, this is like a post-apocalyptic book where a man like wakes up and doesn't really like know what's going on. He's kind of like slowly getting some of his memory back and it's like a desert Esque landscape. So I made it to like almost 100 pages in, like 90 pages, I think. And it was all right. It just wasn't grabbing my attention. I like wasn't interested in it. And I feel like for a book of this type, I should be like super excited about it. You know, I'm thinking of Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, which also starts with a man who is slowly regaining his memory, but it is just like in the action right away. And it's very intense and a lot is happening and it's so good. It was one of my favorite books of 2021, I wanna say, but this was just not doing it for me and I have a lot of other reading going on at the moment. So I just didn't wanna spend my time in a book that I was just not having fun in and that I purposely got like to have fun with, you know? And then for last month, we had the prompt to swap out a book, our longest book. So I had to swap out Brett Easton Ellis's uh, American Psycho. So that was my longest book. And then I replaced it with An Artist of the Floating World by Kazuo Ishiguro. I don't know what this is about. Really, I only got it because I was in a bookstore and I saw it and I don't currently have, or I didn't currently have a book by Kazuo Ishiguro that I hadn't read yet. And I really wanted to read more from him. And also I had remembered that Bob had said something about this in my last Kazuo Ishiguro video, I think. So I decided to put it on this as just a book that I'm really excited about and like I'm hoping that gets picked within my stack. But then the prompt after the swap was to read the book whose cover you love. And I don't really love any of the covers of my books. Like none of them are were that exciting. But the one that I liked the most was In Real Life by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. I think I've been saying his name, Cory Doctorow, and I believe his actual pronunciation is Dr. Rowe, which I learned from watching a podcast with him and Adam Conover. So this is actually a graphic novel about this girl, Anda, and then who she plays on this like online, kind of like World of Warcraft, Esque game. It's a really pretty graphic novel. I love like the game aspects that it brings into it, like her creating her character and everything. It was really cute, but also it had like a greater messaging of trying not to judge people too much, of everybody's experience being very, very different, like learning more about other people's experiences in other parts of the world. And I guess gaining that like empathy, but also gaining this motivation to make things better or to do good in the world. And now that brings us to April. So for April, you are actually getting two prompts. That doesn't mean you have to read two books. It means that you can pick one or the other. So if you're really missing that chaotic feeling of TBR Tackle, then don't you worry. We've got one very TBR Tackle-esque prompt for you. Coming from the creator of TBR Tackle himself. Kieran. TBR Tackle was a lot more chaotic than what <laughs> TBR Spin is. And so if you want to choose the route of chaos this month, then you can go with his prompt. Otherwise you can stick around for the spin and then we'll have that prompt. I know for sure I'm going to be reading the book that came out of Kieran's prompt, but I might also pick a book for our TBR Spin prompt. But the choice is yours. This is a choose your own adventure now for this month only. So with that, I'm going to throw it over to past me and Kieran talking about his prompt. Oh, hey, Kieran. Shamai, Sarah. Oh, Shamai. Oh, 
Get the Welsh in. Look at you on my channel to talk about TBR Spin. It's basically like TBR Tackle all over again. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought, as, as you know, this is a little bit like TBR Tackle, but we'll take mm-hmm. it back to the old chaotic days. <laughs> so if anyone, if anyone didn't follow me, I had to have, like, emergency ripples. So if, like, no one could, like, provide a prompt, or if I was lazy, there was, like, something there to fall back on. I kind of made a list on my Discord of ones that I could possibly use. And I wrote this one on the 30th of December, 2021, at 5 minutes past 10 UK time, which is what it is right now as we're recording. (gasps) This is two years I wrote this ago. Two years ago, I wrote this, and I thought we could use this because it says, and I'll send you the screenshot, you can put it up. Okay. Um, it says, uh, use this prompt for a few months in. So, so are you ready, Sarah? Do you want to grab your books? You yeah, I totally lines. forgot before we started. Go we'll get your books. Okay, okay, Go we'll okay. get your books. Here's my stack. Wonderful. So add up the total pages that you've read from your past months. If you're just joining now, you start at zero. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, okay, if I DNF'd a book, do I count just the number of pages that I read from that book or the total page count? As much as you read up to. Okay, you're going to have to give me a second. I need to get out story graph. Let's bring you back to the old TBR days. Yeah, of like not knowing at all what's going on. <laughs> like, okay, great, this is grand. Okay, 477. Marvelous. So, if the total amount of pages is more than 600, oh, you could choose any book out of the pile that you have left. So you can just have free reign. But if you've read less than 600 pages, Mm -hmm. uh, can you remove the shortest book on your pile, please? Uh, Can you tell me how many pages it has? I'm going to assume it's going to be The Invisible Man. So 172? Yeah. Marvellous. So I want you to swap that Mm -hmm. with a book that has 250 pages plus the number of pages in that book. Swap with a book that's over... 432. And that's the book you're reading. But from, but from here, not not from not from here. You're swapping it, and then you have okay. to choose that. Can I choose one for you? I was just about to choose one that would that you would want me to read. Is it Midnight's Children? Yeah, yeah. Go read Midnight's Children. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yes, we finally got it. Jokes on you! I was going to read it this month anyway. Sandy from Miss Reads a lot is doing. This is the book she's reading for April, so it's perfect. See? Everything was great. If you've read less than 600 pages, move the shortest book on your pile and replace it with a book 250 pages plus more than the one you've removed. And that's the book you will read. And you'll even see Charlotte's comment under it saying, that is so evil, I feel sick. <laughs> it's good, because this is on my big book list for this year too. It's on your little scratch book. Scratch, and it's on my scratch, scratch poster. Yeah, my 100 books bucket list poster. We oh. spoke about that the first time we ever had a Zoom call together. I do remember that. Look at that. Look, at that. look, how, look how old we are now. Just long, friends long, long rebels. <laughs> Too long. Is this the end of our friendship? Yeah. And that's the end of the video. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> Okay, so if you don't want to do that prompt or you simply just don't want to do math, I understand. And we want to make sure that we're still spinning the wheel as a part of TBR Spin. So I'm going to go ahead and record my screen and we're going to spin the wheel. A book by an author you've read before, I think is the full prompt name. Yes. Okay. I just realized which book. I could pick for this. Actually, I think I have two that I could pick for this. Okay, so if you have a book on your stack that is by an author you have read before, then that's going to be your book. If you have more than one, you can choose from them. And if you don't have any, then you can go to your full TBR, pick a book from there by an author you've read before, uh, and just make sure to remove one of the books from your stack. You can do that by a random number generator if you want, or you can just choose yourself which one to remove. So for me, I have read a book by Yoko Ogawa and of course by Kazuo Ishiguro. So these are my two options, which is actually a really hard choice because I've been really excited about both of them. Part of me wants to go with Yoko Ogawa because I've only read one other Yoko Ogawa book, but then I also, I like just got this Kazuo Ishiguro book and I'm very excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna go with Ishiguro, but my own caveat to myself is going to be if I don't read it this month because I'm committing to reading the book that I picked with Kieran, which is of course Midnight's Children. And if I don't read this this month, then I'm taking it off of my TBRC 
stack so that I still have the correct number of books. Technically within Kieran's prompt, I should have removed The Invisible Man, but I decided to keep it on there since I kind of wanted to do both prompts. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this month. It's a little different than past months, but let it lead you wherever your gut is taking you, whatever prompt works for you for this month, go for it. And I can't wait to see what you all are reading. Don't forget there is a discord where we talk about our picks and everything. So feel free to join in on the conversation there. There is also a story graph challenge if you want to track yours. Oh, and if you're like looking detailed into my story graph challenge, I did change what my book was for the month of March because since I DNF'd City of Orange, it doesn't count as marking a prompt complete within the story graph challenge. So I just threw another book that I read in March onto there or no, not March, February. And I think a few people DNF'd books in February, which makes sense because that was the prompt of reading the lowest rated book. So if other people are looking for like a workaround for that, then that's that's what I did. <laughs> but anyways, you can join the Story Graph Challenge there. And then also, of course, follow Jill, the book bully, because she's going to be posting the prompt for May, so next month. Anyways, I hope that you have a great month and happy reading. Bye.